Yeah, so I uh, overlook the obviously the NYL team, the youth team. We pretty much get the players ready for the first team and then try and integrate them with the first team when the time is right. And also as uh, the first team coach sees fit to, to bring players in. So when, when you have four scholarships this year and being able to to achieve something special like winning the NYL. But the ultimate goal is to produce players to our first team. Yeah, so I first came to the club when I was 15. Um, being in an A-League academy, the extra special thing is, you know, you're seeing the first team train across the road. You know, there's that clear pathway for your development. And you... well, the reason I get up at 4 a.m. every morning and commute up the N1 is because of the culture it has, you know. It's, it's from, from its inception, it's been about promoting youth players to the first team. You know, it's pretty special. So that gives you a little bit of extra motivation to improve. As each year went on, it just gets better and better. Um, there's more depth now going into the coaching staff. There's they have more time for you, so it's more like it's an everyday thing. They get you ready as a young age for the professional level when you're older. So when you get there, you're like comfortable and you know what to do. We recently go to China, being the first academy team to go to China, uh, going deep in that tournament, and we made it to the semi final. The likes of Paramaris, VRL, the heavyweights in the world, so. We know that we can match it with the best in the world as well. I think that the whole Chinese uh, experience for, for the tournament in, in Guangzhou was, was fantastic for our club and especially for our players. Going into a tournament with internationally recognised clubs, people would have assumed that the, the Australian team would be the whipping boys of the tournament and were probably five minutes away from making the final of this tournament. And those players uh, did the club proud there, but more importantly they, they, they stood up to the level that was expected and they showed that their qualities and the, the kids with a future ahead of them. In pre-season we played Melbourne City in a friendly match uh, which gave opportunities for seven of our young uh, NYL players to be involved in. Three of those boys are boys that have been with us from day one. The recent experience in Victoria was great. Um, in, you know, provided me with that experience to step up. And when I found out that I was going to start, you know, it was that combination of nerves and excitement, but I. As um, the game, you know, got closer and closer, that that nerves uh, was turned to focus, and I was really determined to, you know, showcase what I had, and I've been given this great opportunity by the boss. You know, I'm glad I got that insight to see what it's like to play at that level, and playing there itself was was a bit weird for me, especially because I've been a fan and a member of the club since they started, and also I was a ball boy for the first two seasons, 13, 14, the first first two seasons of when they started, I was a ball boy. So now to play with some of the players like Bridgie and train with them is just it's definitely a good system that we've got now, giving youngsters a go. You know, marking players such as Bruno Fonaroli, you know, look, all I'm going to say is he didn't score, so yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs>